result today. It gets us uh, further away from the pack. But yeah, it was. I was quite tired, but I uh, managed to get through it. So yeah, not too bad. And from the beginning, you looked like you'd never been away, really. <laughs> yeah, I was, to be honest, I was nervous as, as hell. Um, you know, usually I'm real good, but the last couple of days it's just been, I don't know, I probably played the game the night before or something like that, but um, yeah, it was just good, you know, once once you got started and everything, everything kind of went away, and, you know, it was just back to normal. Matty, good day at the office today for Featherston Rovers. Yeah, we uh, we spoke about earlier in the week that it was, going to be a, it was going to be a massive game and the start, we needed to start well and um, I thought we did that today, we, uh, I think it was first half for it. And, something like 93% which is massive for us and a lot compared to where we have been so that the start put us in good stead yeah. Playing a bit like a man possessed out there. Yeah good win there, good effort back boys today but uh, yeah I had to do a bit extra because obviously I'm looking at a few games so I had to do my best today. Last week we focused on uh, the past two weeks in fact we focused on our defence we know that we can score points but uh, we've been a bit unhappy with, with the amount of points that oppositions have been scoring against us so um, we worked hard in training with that and um, we defended quite well today. And you were in the wars quite early on. You, was it a head clash you had with Reese Williams? That, uh, no, quite was, a bit of blood? Yeah, it was just an uh, accident, knee to the head. Um, but yeah, when, when I, I felt it, and I just seen the blood um, come out that fast. I was, <laughs> didn't know how to react, but I think credit to our uh, staff. Um, you know, I could have easily come off in that 15 minute mark, but um, you know, they kept me on which was a good thing, and, and they cleaned me up pretty good. John Sharp in the post-match press conference there, singled you out, said that you had a great time coming off the bench and performed really well. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, obviously, if I can come on and when, when their team's a little bit tired and, and it gives me a good opportunity to run as well, so um, I'm enjoying what I'm doing at the moment and uh, the team are going well as well, so it's good. It must feel great to be able to get those boots on and get out there after waiting so long. Yeah, it has. Like, just to be part of the team, you know, bringing uh, amongst the boys that feeling, just being part of the team as well. Um, you kind of get that separation when we're not playing and that, but it felt good. You know, the boys helped me out a lot um, and the result counted where we needed it most. How disappointing is it for you uh, knowing that you're going to be out for a few games when you are playing so well? Well, that's it. You get a few games under your belt, you start getting a rhythm and... Obviously, do something something like that. I get uh, looking at a few games. Uh, it's disappointing, uh, but it's, it is what it is, and you've just got to come back from that stronger and better. So, so that four-point cushion against London, all important in this top four race. Big weekend coming up at Easter, though, isn't it? Hull KR away, uh, Bradford at home. Going to be hopefully two big crowds to play in front of as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we know it's a big week uh, coming up, and it's a it's a busy schedule. But um, we're hoping to just focus on our performance and. Hopefully we can get a result there and then we focus again on to go again Monday. Um, but it's still early on in the year, there's still plenty to play for, so we're not looking too far in front, um, but we'll, we'll focus on Friday. Uh, I've come at the right time, but uh, it's, it's a tough tough month, as we said, like six games in one month. Uh, I think for all teams it is tough, but you know if we can get two wins out of this um, Easter break, uh, it'd be great. You know, we, we push one uh, closer to how KR, but we'll just take game by game. Um, you know, you couldn't ask for any two uh, tougher games, but I think if we have the right attitude, right uh, mindset, we'll be, we'll be fine. We were just talking about the crowd as well, how they were really loud today. They, they loved what they were seeing on the pitch. How important is it for everybody to get down next Monday at the big fellas? Yeah, the, the fans have been fantastic all, all year so far. And even when we were away as well, the travelling numbers. So us players are grateful for that. And if they can come down Monday as well and pack it out, that'll be outstanding. So, yeah. Yeah, we just got to play the same kind of football. You know, run hard, tackle hard. Uh, you know, uh, listen to our coaches. You know, game plan. You know, make this uh, place because we, we've got great fans, great community that get behind us. You know, so um, you know we're looking forward to a, a good game against Bradford and for the crowd and, and the whole community to get part of it. Uh-huh.